Hi everyone, so in lesson 3, we will learn how to heal open edges where we analyze broken surfaces, fill gap, remove extra surfaces, do sewing on an open edge, extend surface, remove trim surface as well as remove solid. So the first thing first is that we will analyze the broken surface. So we will actually hit on to heal and then we will click on heal or analyze. Okay, then we will click this shape to analyze okay for over here we choose the heal option click ok so you can see these are the things that they have tried to heal you can open up to see more details okay if you want to know where it actually is you can click the zoom to button and it will lead you to the part where it's trying to heal Okay, remember just now when we try to click on heal or analyze, there's actually two options. One is heal, one is analyze. So you can actually press over here to do the analyze. Okay, so you can click over here. And then you can click on any one of it to zoom into the error. So you can toggle between the heal and analyze over here instead of choosing it from this part. Okay. Alternatively, we can also do a show open. Okay, over here, we click on show open and then we can see that there is 58 number of open edges. So we have to fill the part and make sure that this is zero at the end. Okay, so you can go to any one of the error you see they will prompt you. Okay, and then if you can't see the error, okay, you can actually click zoom to and it will lead you to the error. Okay. okay, so now you learn how to do a fill gap. So you can see over here that there's actually a gap over here. There's a hole. We are trying to heal it. So you go to heal. We go to fill gap. Okay, we select any of this blue dotted line. Okay, which is um, representing that it is a broken edge. We click on it. So you can see it's highlighted in orange, which means all of the edges are selected. We click OK, and then the part over here is healed. So now we move on to heal many more other parts as an example. For example, this one over here, we will do the same thing. Okay. This one as well. Okay, you can see that there's a hole. Click on it, and then click OK. This portion over here as well. Fill gap. Okay. Okay. And then lastly, we will go on to this one here. Click on fill gap. Edge over here. Okay. Okay. So you realize that when I do a fill gap for this surface over here, it actually does not give me a smooth flat surface. It actually breaks up into many different parts. Okay, this could be because of the problem that there's actually not a pure straight line over at this edge where I selected just now. So it's okay. You just have to click on undo over here. Okay, you click on fill gap again and you select a different edge. Okay, then I'll click OK. Okay, so now we try again with another edge. Over here. Mm, then you see that, that is, there's actually a smooth surface now. Okay, the gap is actually filled. Okay, we can actually try on this surface as well. Okay, and then it is done. Okay, so now next step, we are going to go on to remove extra surfaces. So you take a look at this part over here. Okay, there's actually extra surfaces over here outside. Okay, so what we do is we go to the heel tab. Okay, we select split with curves. Okay, under faces, we select the face over here. And then under curve, we click on curve. Okay, we have to select six curves. One, two, three, four, five, six. This part over here. Okay, we click OK. So which means to say this surface and this surface, they are now two separate surfaces. Okay, 
Now we select this surface, the one that we want to remove, and then we press the delete button on the keyboard. Okay, so now we realize that the extra surfaces is being removed. Okay, but we take note that over here, the blue dotted lines, okay, they are still existing. Instead of the black solid lines, we have the blue dotted lines over here. Okay, here and here instead of this kind of black solid lines. So what does it mean? It means that sewing will be required. Okay, so how do we sew surfaces? Let's take a look. We will now click on the heel tab and then we click on sew. Now we select the faces required. We need to select two of the surfaces. So the first surface, I will pick this surface, okay. The second surface, I will pick the outside surface. Now I click OK, okay. Then I continue. And then you can see the blue line, previously the blue line is now black solid lines. Okay, now we head on to do an extend surface. Okay, how do we do an extend surface? We move on to this part over here, okay where we can see that there's actually this part over here there's actually a broken gap okay so we can do extend surfaces under the heel tab okay we go to extend surface extend face click on the face that we want to extend okay select the edge to extend which is here okay before i click it will already prompt me what the preview would be like I click on it I'll give it a distance of probably five okay you just have to cover be enough to cover the cap gap will do okay I click on OK and then you see that the surface is extended so you see we we'll have to trim this part over here which will be taught in the next section okay in order to remove the trim surfaces we will go to the freeform ribbon tab here Okay, then we will click on Trim to Curves. We select the face, okay, over here, the face over here, and then we select the curves, this part over here, okay. Then we select either face to keep or face to remove. In this case, I will select the face to remove. If I select the face to remove, at the side here, I will click on this portion, any part of this portion. If I select faces to keep, at the side here, I will select any of this portion here. Okay, so if I select faces to remove, I'll click here. Okay, so now this is the setting is done. I will just click OK and then I will have my part removed. Okay. Okay, recall that the part over here, we have to do sewing because of this blue line. As you can see, there's a blue line over here. Blue line, okay. So we'll do a sewing on the face, okay. And then it's done. It has turned into the black line over here, okay. Okay, so now let's try remo removing extra surfaces. Okay, let's turn over the part. Over here, there's an extra surface. Okay, so we will go back to freeform. Select trim to curves. We will select the face. Okay, and then we will select the curves to actually cut. Okay, now instead of selecting the face to remove, I will try selecting face to keep. Both will do. Okay, just at this side, you have to take note. This is the one I want to keep. This is the one I want to remove. So since I selected keep, I will click over here. Click OK. And then it is done. So we will do the same thing. We will have to go back to sew it. And then click OK. So now the part is being sewed. Okay, so now we'll move on to another example over here. We can see that on this surface, it's not a pure yellow color unlike the previous ones. Okay, which means there's actually two surfaces on the same plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a removal of the surface. Freeform, okay, like before you go to trim to curve. Okay, select the face. 
the curve, you will select this part over here. There will be eight curves that you will have to pick. Okay, so for the sides, I will choose the side to remove, faces to remove over here. Then I'll click on this one. Okay, so when I click OK, see, now the surface is removed. I'm only left with one surface on this plane. Okay, now we will learn how to remove solid. So we will go to the shape tab. Okay, we click on combine. Okay, instead of using add, we will choose remove. Okay, then we will select the base. Okay, and then for the operator, okay, we will click on this one. Okay, then we click okay, the block is removed. Okay, we take a look at the before. Okay, the block is there. Okay, and then the after, the block is removed. Okay, we undo this. Okay, and then there's actually another method that we can use. So we can go to heal. Okay, we select as explode. Okay, we explode the top surface over here. And then we click OK. So now the top surface is removed, okay? We click on this block over here. We press delete on the keyboard, okay? We realize that there's actually a blue color line, blue dotted line, and then there's gap for us to fill. So we will actually do a sewing over here, okay? And then with the outside surface, click OK. Okay, then we can see that the surface is being sewed. Okay. Okay, finally, after doing all these examples, okay, let's check if our part is completely healed. So remember, the first thing we have to go back to heal, okay, and then we click show open. So you see, now the number of open edges is zero. We are done healing our parts, okay. So this is the end of lesson 3 and then next lesson we are going to learn how to do sketching and modeling.